I recently saw a short where someone used pure gold leaf as a thermal solution for CPUs and wanted to explore this topic a tiny bit further. We all know gold is a precious and expensive metal used in all sorts of applications. It's even used in electronics, but is it a good thermal conductor for CPUs? Let's find out. So I ordered some gold leaf on Amazon. It's 99% pure with 1% silver. Apparently you can eat this stuff, which I find both fascinating and weird at the same time. How does this not harm the body? Without Googling that, I pressed on with the tests. First, we'll get baseline temps on the 8-core Ryzen 7 4700G. It has the up here copper heat pipe laden cooler attached to it. We're going to use some fresh Arctic MX6 for our paste. And with several runs of Cinebench, we get an average score of 709 and max temps of 79.2 degrees Celsius. Average temps around 74.2 degrees Celsius, so not running too hot. Now let's take off the heat sink and give everything a clean in preparation for the gold. Ugh. I hate when the CPU comes off with the heat sink. This is a sticky situation and needs to be handled with care. Twist softly so the CPU doesn't fly off and bend a bunch of pins. Ah, okay, there. That's good. Let's move on. After playing with the gold, I found it extremely difficult to work with. It literally turns into nothing dust with a light rub. The layers fly off and crumple with the slightest AC breeze or breath. It was like working with wet rice paper. I figured I had one shot at this and started trying to put layers on down flatly, but had little luck doing so. This gold was going all over the place. Another danger was getting a piece of gold somewhere on the motherboard, potentially shorting something out. I don't recommend doing this unless you're prepared to lose a motherboard or potentially worse. After several layers of frustration and light padding, I finally had something I think could at least suffice for a test. It looks ugly, but let's install the heatsink and test it anyway. I'm hoping this thing at least doesn't start heating up too much before the Cinebench test. Coming into Windows, things look promising with a load temp of 49 degrees Celsius and an idle temp of 40 degrees Celsius. We load Cinebench up and start the test. This is where I'm thoroughly surprised. I expected it to immediately thermal throttle, but instead it completes the test with a score of 701 right in the average area, and the temps never go above 81 degrees Celsius. Average temps were around 74 degrees Celsius. The gold worked as a thermal pad. It was thermally conductive enough to keep this 8-core processor from overheating. Now, I can't say this would work on a higher TDP rated processor, probably not at all, but for this 4700G, it worked just fine. Let's take the heatsink off and see what it looks like. As expected, it wouldn't melt at such low temperatures. The pressure pushed it into a decent spread, though. Cleaning this off, I'm going to use a vacuum. I don't want gold dust all over my motherboard. Overall, I'd say this is a success, and yes, you can use gold as a thermal solution, but only for lower watt processors. Thanks so much for watching PC Tech and Games. Please hit those like and yada yada buttons. Goodbye.